Now, what we're going to do is we're going to understand uh, a, uh, on how to create an email sequence, right? So uh, basically, let's go to uh, campaigns, right? You need to select you need to select this checkbox, okay? That says uh, campaign, and then click email sequence. And when you click this email sequence, you can create a new email sequence from here. Click create new, correct? And uh, you can uh, give the sequence a name, like it could be the same name, like uh, email sequence one. Uh, weight loss. Weight loss, same name as the list, right? Correct. Then you can choose the list, like this is the list, okay? Now you understand why we created the list as the first thing, correct? Because we can choose it from here, right? So list one is weight loss, right? So email sequence one, weight loss, right? Now you can segment your list. Users that have uh, never opened a campaign, users that open at least one, so you need to select this one, right? Send to future subscribers only, correct? So select this one, save and edit email sequence now again this is where you set up your email sequence right so let's say this is uh, you can give your, your campaign a name so you can give this email one correct welcome email correct and you can give the subject uh, welcome Thanks for thanks for subscribing to our list. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Instructions in the email. Okay. And then what you can do is you can edit the email from here. You can write hey. Hey. And you can add the tags. Okay, correct the tags that I showed you, right? Correct. So let's remove this. Hey, uh, whatever, Peter, or whatever. Okay. Hey, Peter, we are excited to. We're excited to have you on our list. If you have not signed up for free on our offer, click here to sign up now. The cover page will expire in 72 hours. So sign up right away to secure your spot so you you need to let them know like even if the page is not expiring you need to you need to create an urgency okay correct so you can click here to sign up now and you can select this part and then you can click this button okay and hyperlink this with your cpa offer you correct www.yourcpaoffer link okay link so Always your uh, so it would be your your new click magic link. So you should always uh, um, put your click magic links in the email, and you should always create new click magic links for email sequences so that you can make out how many people clicked your emails. Right? You can see that from within click magic. You getting the point here? Yes, sir. Got sir. So uh, click here to sign up, and this is the text, right? And as soon as you click OK, this would be hyperlinked. Right? You see that? Correct. And you should always click this activate button, correct, for this email. Because if you don't click activate, the email will not go, okay? And this, the zero day means as soon as the person puts his email in your opt-in box, this email would go. This is what zero means here, okay? Click activate and this email would be activated to go. So uh, now if you want to add one more email, you need to click this button that says add email, right? Correct. Click add email. And once you click add email, then this new window will come up and then you can type in email to 
email to okay and uh Hello, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy, uh, maybe whatever, Monday. And you should set this email for Monday, whatever. Happy Monday. Uh, we have get a free gift card from us, right? Hey, Peter, uh, happy Monday. Happy Monday we are giving free gift cards gift cards to our subscribers subscribers click here to get your free gift card whatever click here to get your free gift card and then what you'll do is you you'll add your free gift card offer here right correct your mm -hmm. www dot you your another CPA gift card offer link correct okay. and then click OK right so this is how you promote multiple offers this is the angle are you getting the point here yes, sir. so you can promote any number of offers right so uh, and then click activate correct so this email will get activated so Basically, this is how you create your email sequence. Okay, now you can create multiple emails for seven days. Click add email here, click add another email. So that's pretty much it on how to create an email sequence in Builder All's mailing box. Okay, sir.